Now the festival of unleavened bread drew near, which is called the Passover. And Jesus sent Simon, Peter and John ahead to prepare the Passover meal. I have wanted so much to eat this Passover meal with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will never eat it until it is given its full meaning in the kingdom of God. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth fruit from the vine. Take this and share it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth bread from the earth. This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man must die as God has determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. It can't be. 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 Not possible. Name the traitor, Lord. The greatest one among you must be like the youngest. And the leader must be like the servant. For who is greater? The one who sits down to eat or the one who serves. The one who sits down, of course. But I am among you as one who serves. You have stayed with me all through my trials. And just as my father has given me the right to rule, so I will give you the same right. You will eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and you will sit on thrones to rule over the twelve tribes of Israel. Then there is no traitor. Simon, Simon, behold. Satan has desired to test all of you, to separate the good from the bad, as a farmer separates the wheat from the chaff. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back to me, you must strengthen your brethren. Lord, I am ready to go to prison with you and to die with you. you. Peter, the cock will not crow this day before that you shall thrice deny that you know me. <sighs> when I sent you out without purse or bag or shoes, did you lack anything? No. Not a thing. But now, whoever has a purse or a bag must take it. And whoever has no sword must sell his mantle and buy one. For I tell you, it is written in the scriptures, and he was reckoned among the transgressors. And what was written about me is coming true. Look, here are two swords, Lord.
that is enough. And the Council of the Elders met to see how they might rid themselves of Jesus. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And an angel from heaven appeared to him to strengthen him. And his sweat was as though it were great drops of blood falling to the ground. Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you do not fall into temptation. Is it with a kiss that you betray the Son of Man? Lord, shall we smite with the sword? Come on, arrest him. Enough of this. with swords and clubs as though I were an outlaw. I was with you every day in the temple and you did not try to arrest me. But this is your hour to act, when the power of darkness rules. Arrest him. Guard him well. There's a cloak worn by King. Tell us what's going to happen. I salute your royal. You're gonna save us, your Majesty. You're gonna save us. What are you gonna save us from? This man, too, was with Jesus. Woman, I don't even know him. I saw them together.
<laughs> You're humble, sir. <laughs> How does it feel to look up to somebody? You are one of them, too. But I am not. There is no doubt that this man was with Jesus, because he's also a Galilean. Go away. <laughs> I don't know what, what you're talking about. with the greatness of thy power. Thou, who did forgive our fathers when they rebelled against thy word. Thou, who was angry with them, thou didst destroy them through thy love for them and for thy covenant's sake. Thou didst spare them. <laughs> Who hit you, guess? Prophesy. Who'll hit you next? <laughs> Stop it! Stop it, I said. Bring him before the council. Move! Oh. Tell us, are you the Messiah? If I tell you, you will not believe me. And if I ask you a question, you will not answer me. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right side of Almighty God. Are you then the Son of God? You say that I am. We ourselves have heard what he said. We will take him to Pilate. Move. They took him before Pontius Pilate, the most vicious of all Roman procurators, alone responsible for the crucifixion of thousands. And what do you want here at this hour of the morning? We caught this man perverting our people. He caused an uproar in the temple market. What will be his punishment? Sentence him. I see no reason to condemn this man, no reason. We found him guilty, telling them not to pay taxes to the emperor, claiming himself the Messiah, a king. A king? Are you the king of the Jews? 
So you say. He began in Galilee and now he has come here. In Galilee? Is this man a Galilean? In that case, we'll let Herod deal with him. He's still here in Jerusalem, isn't he? Take him to Herod. <laughs> Is it that you say you are? Who are those you call your disciples? It is said by many you can perform signs. Do something for me. My lord. He has been corrupting all the people. He calls himself the king. This man? A king? <laughs> Your Majesty. Mark him well. <gasps> Send him back to Pilate. This is his province. This man has done nothing to deserve death. So I will have him scourged and let him go. You are obliged to release one man to us at this festival. Release to us Barabbas. Yes, Barabbas. Yes, Barabbas. And away with this man.
You! What's your name? Simon of Cyrene, sir. Step over here. Cut the ropes! Hold your shoulder, Peggy, eh? You! Carry it! Come on, move! Feel the way there. For you, Lord, we weep. Drink this. Drink. Drink, Lord. Women of Jerusalem, don't weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For if such things as these take place when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Oh, we will pray for you. Oh, it's oh. Move! Out here! Come on! Wake up! Wake up! Go, no, you! Go! Go on, keep up! Wake up! Come on! Wake up! Now, move! Move! Now, you! Come on, Come on now! Saved others, 
Let him save himself. This is no ordinary mystic's garment. <laughs> Here, so we go. Oh, no, Terry. I'll tell you what. Let's play for this. All right, we play. The first one to throw is six. Right, turn the lights. Come on. Come on. Hey, you lucky devil. Hey, Marcus, you won again. Save yourself if you were the king of the Jews. Messiah, save yourself and and us. Don't you fear God? He received the same sentence you did, but he has done no wrong. Remember me, Jesus, when you, when you come as king. I promise you, today you will be in paradise with me. It was now about the sixth hour, and a darkness came over all the land until the ninth hour. temple was torn right down the middle. Father, into thy hands. I commit my spirit.
Glory be to God. Certainly, this was a righteous man. Joseph of Arimathea, a righteous member of the council who had not consented to this deed, obtained permission from Pontius Pilate to lay Jesus' body in a tomb before the Sabbath commenced at sundown. Forgive us. We are following the body of our Lord. All are welcome. But come, the Sabbath is approaching. Very early on the Sunday morning, they came to the tomb, carrying the spices they had prepared. Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember what he said to you while he was in Galilee. The Son of Man will be handed over to sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day rise again. to us, angels shining like the sun, and said to us, why do you look for the living among the dead? It's true. Believe us. Believe us. We saw them. Go and see for yourself. The tomb was empty. Our Lord was gone. Peter, you must believe us. He has appeared to Simon. We didn't recognize him. 
not on the road. But when he broke bread, <laughs> then we knew. At Emmaus. How strange he should go there. Uh, oh. Oh. Peace be with you. Oh. Oh. Why are you troubled? Why are these doubts coming up in your minds? Look, at my hands and my feet, and see that it is I myself. Feel me and you will know. For a spirit has not flesh and bones, as you see I have. These are the very things I spoke to you about while I was still with you. That everything written about me in the law of Moses and the writings of the prophets and the Psalms had to come true. This is what is written. The Messiah must suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And in his name, the message of repentance and the forgiveness of sins must be preached to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And I myself bring the promise of my father upon you. But you must wait in the city until the power from above comes down upon you. bless you and keep you. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen.
And the tune began to shake And like lightning from heaven The stone was rolled away And this dead man the guards They all stood there in fright As the power of love Displayed its mind suddenly a melody Filled the air Riding wings of wind It 